My full name is Megan Alexandra Perez. And where I'm from is a bit of a complicated question. <laughs> so I'm originally from Florida, born. I moved to New York when I was five. Lived there for most of my teen years. And when I was about 15, I moved to Philly. So one day I just picked up a crayon and started coloring, to be perfectly honest. My parents don't know where it started from. I honestly don't know where it started from. Since I was little, it just felt natural to do. I would doodle in school, walls, my own body. Um, and then when I got to high school was my first ever art class. And I knew how to draw, but in high school I got the more technical form of it and it was like love at first sight it just got better and better and then I went to college for it and since then it's been history what inspires me to be perfectly honest it's mostly my emotion how I feel in that day really a f either makes me want to draw more or pulls me away from the art it's it's a complicated thing because it's not just I can go outside and I see that one thing and it, it causes that spark. It's more like I have that deep emotion and it needs to be put on something, a piece of paper, a wall, a canvas, whatever it may be. So, oh, He asked me this question because of our previous conversation, but I just... It's, it might be the mouse and computer screen. I don't know, you just, I gotta feel it in my hand, like that pen, that piece of paper, that spark. When I look at a computer screen, I think of work and it's, it doesn't, for some reason, art and the computer don't mix for me. I don't see it. I don't know why I don't see it. Most people think I'm insane, but when I look at a computer screen, I see a work office, something I don't want to look at every day. But when I look at a messy room of paint, it's like beautiful to me. And I just want to draw something and paint it and, you know. One space, I still haven't figured out like a good art studio space. Right now I work out of my room, which is probably half the size of the, the studio right now. Um, to money, um, the stuff I do isn't cheap. People think art can be pulled. It can be pulled out of anywhere, but you know, materials, they, they come with a cost. And sometimes it's just, I'd rather, you know, be living life than always be stuck in a room trying to paint something. I'm more of a, uh, if it comes to me, it comes to me. I'm not going to sit there and try to force the art flow out, if that makes sense. So for this one, so how my art career started, I was little. My parents always told me, just keep going. It was something I liked, you know, doodle, whatever, just don't do it on the walls. Um, <laughs> and go with your first instinct. Don't let anybody doubt you because before, when I graduated high school, I was gonna go to school to be a nurse. I thought that was the move. I thought money. And I had not only my parents, but other people around me look at me like that's the wrong move. Go with what your heart tells you to go for. And if it's art, it's art and don't let anyone or anything tell you that's like a wrong move, you'll never make it, there's no money in it, it doesn't matter, it's, it's what's in your heart and it what, what makes you feel good. So you can reach my business on my Instagram, which is Megan, Tron 14 or I have an art page, which is art by Megan Tron, um, which is also on Instagram. Hey guys, I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to sign up for my newsletter. It is a 20% discount off your first shoot. I'll check you guys out next time.